Back in September 2020, the news broke that Microsoft had acquired Bethesda via their parent company ZeniMax Media, meaning that the Xbox brand would own all of the franchises developed and published within ZeniMax. That's Doom, Wolfenstein, Dishonored, Prey, The Elder Scrolls and many more, including the unreleased titles such as Starbound. But the deal hasn't actually been finalised officially, though it does seem it will be official sooner rather than later. The EU has to ratify the deal before it can be officially sealed, and a new document filed and published on February the 5th says that parties have 10 days from that date to submit observations on the deal. What that means is that any objections or reasons this deal shouldn't or couldn't take place must be laid out within that time frame. And there's good news for both parties so far, as the document also says that upon preliminary examination, the Commission finds the transaction could fall within the scope of merger regulations, which is a nice way of saying it should be okay, but it's not official until it's official. What's perhaps more interesting than an otherwise done deal here is that the documents reveal Microsoft will be creating a new subsidiary called Vault, which will contain the ZeniMax properties. That means that Bethesda and ZeniMax will be known as Vault and not actually as Microsoft, similar to how the publisher Take Two operates in the way that, although people think of Rockstar Games as the publisher and developer of Grand Theft Auto or Red Dead Redemption, Rockstar itself is a company within Take Two. And this is notable because it means that instead of games that come from this deal potentially being released on other consoles with Microsoft written on them, they might just say Vault. Check that Red Dead Redemption 2 case you've got on your shelf right now. Do you see a Take 2 logo on it anywhere? Exactly. And while this isn't confirmation that future titles will even remain multi-platform, what it does do is give Microsoft a middleman when releasing games like this as they could be published by Vault. Or it may actually mean nothing of the sort and we may see games come to PS5 with an Xbox logo on it as well. It's not new, as the usually PlayStation exclusive MLB series is coming to Xbox this year with a PlayStation Studios logo on it. It's a very interesting time in games for this sort of thing, with Microsoft rumoured to be not quite done with acquisitions yet. And to keep up to date on this story and everything else in the world of gaming, head to NME.com. 